I've told myself this is my year. This is what's gonna be the difference. Or man, Jan the 1st is where it's all gonna change for me. And we all go back to the same old habits and routines and we don't even really stick to our goals. So why is that? And how do we fix this? How do we solve this issue? So for in today's video, we could cover setting goals together. And this is gonna be a very actionable video. There is a worksheet down in the description that I need you to download before we continue on with this video. Once you've done that, boom. Now you've downloaded the worksheet. As you open up, you will see these three things. Number one being finances, our health, and our career. Now you can replace the career goal with hobbies or family, whatever suits you. I've decided to pick financial, health, and my career. So if you've been on the internet for a while, you probably heard of the term SMART goals. This is commonly defined as specific, measurable, achievable, and realistic time bound goals. Now, why SMART goals aren't good for most people, even some people with ADHD, I find that SMART goals just never worked for me. No matter how I planned my goals, no matter what SMART way I went about them, I always found myself kind of bored or not even following my goals after around two weeks. Uh, I'm, I'm boring myself just talking about this. And I just don't like SMART goals. And I think after watching and reading so many articles about how to plan and set goals of ADHD, I've kind of noticed one firming feature for me. And that is, even though the research might show that SMART goals are the better way of setting goals, hard goals is what I want you guys to focus on. So by contrast, hard goals actually stand for they're heartfelt, they're animated, they're required, and they're very difficult. Unlike these achievable realistic goals, that kind of leave you stuck in this, I would call it mainstream status status quo area. Hard goals in a lot of that part of the brain that you find it hard to be motivated by, and especially with ADHD, we need the skill and the challenge of an activity to make us rise to do it. Now, by giving ourselves an unachievable hard goal, it's gonna activate that challenging and skill boost in our brain, which is gonna then force us into chasing this goal, as it's probably gonna give us the most dopamine possible. So obviously you now download that worksheet, and we're gonna go through each area of our life, like I explained before. So we're gonna go through the first one, guys, is financial. I will go through kind of a goal I set for myself. So I said I want to make 80K and I wanna save 20 of that 80K. Now, to break that goal down even further, how much per day will it cost to make 80K a year? All right, so it's gonna cost me around $219 per day to make that a year. And that will be working around six to eight hour days, okay? So how would we get there? We have gotta take actionable steps. So on mine, I've got work three to four shifts a week, side hustle every day as I run many businesses you know my youtube drop shipping i've got multiple businesses do that every day work on my marketing and advertising so i want you to think about where you want your career to be and i want you to describe to me exactly the kind of work you see yourself doing so I'll give you an example, and it says this in the article, I'll leave the article link below. Think about what you want from your career, for example. Where you exactly want to be and why you want to be there. What kind of work are you doing? What do your days look like? Look on from one, three, five years from now. I know that's really hard for brains with ADHD to do because we don't really grasp time like that, but I want you to try kind of imagine it. Imagine seeing yourself in six months, what would you be doing? And it is a really hard thought to like do with ADHD because we are literally time blind, like we can't see time like that. So what I would say to you is the best way to do it is try imagine yourself in a week from now. Where do you see yourself? If you were to stick to this to a week, can you see yourself in a better place? So we're gonna talk about it being heartfelt. We need to describe at least three reasons why you want this goal. And this can be intrinsic, personal, it can be extrinsic, but it needs to be something that is the reason you're doing it. So my heartfelt reasons for YouTube, for example, was one, I wanted to help people. That was my most important one. I wanted to change people's lives. Number two was obviously I wanted to change my own life and by doing ADHD videos like this, it could also help me. And number three, I wanted to do it because I wanted to see how far I could develop my skills. And what I mean by skills is my speaking skills, my consistency, and also just my skills on, on perseverance because I struggle with perseverance as a trait. And I, obviously that is an ADHD thing, but I want to see if I could work on that. Now, question number three, you got to ask yourself, is it difficult? You know, what are three to five important skills that you will need to develop to achieve this goal? And how will you develop those skills? So for example, again, my goal is to reach 100K on YouTube for it. I'm going to need to accept that I might not be able to do this on my own. I might need to hire video editors. I might need to go into courses, understand YouTube a lot better. It's understanding the difficulty of your goal, but understanding how you can apply the traits or maybe the traits you do not have to achieving this goal. What do you need to have accomplished by the end of the six months to keep on track towards achieving this goal? What about the next 90 days, the next 60 days, the next 30 days. You know, this is how we set ourselves up for greatness. And I kind of want you to look at it day by day as well. I think that's the one thing we struggle with ADHD. We, we tend to not look at things daily because we forget, and again, that is the time blindness, that this all leads to an end result and an end 
product. And if we consistently apply ourselves to our goals, then we can actually achieve our dreams and we can actually achieve what we want out of life if we just apply consistency. So I want you to look at each goal of what you can do daily to achieve that. So again, for YouTube, what I can do daily to achieve that is probably writing down video ideas. Simple as that, writing down video ideas that I have. Also creating thumbnails, new titles, brainstorming. These are all ways I can get to achieving my goal of 100K subscribers by the end of the year. And that's why I really like this article, guys, because it really talks about how by doing this, it doesn't just make you feel like you're another guy setting a goal for the year that, oh, well, if you achieve it, it's, it's okay, because it's a pretty cool goal but it's nothing life-changing the goals need to be life-changing they need to really motivate you to want to do better and those heartfelt questions really check to see if that was in you like can i do this will i do this why do i want to do this it's really analyzing everything about yourself and kind of your why now once you've set your three goals i now want you to reward yourself now what do i mean by that you need to understand that rewards are key for keeping that spark glowing inside of our adhd brains so the best way i like to do this is reward yourself with something that you know will give you a dopamine it doesn't necessarily always have to be a healthy reward but try to aim for it to be something healthy my favorite reward what I like to give myself is free time. And it sounds something so childish, but as a kid, I think I loved hearing those words more than anything was free time. So my natural reward now is to give myself five minutes of free time throughout the day. And that might equal up to 30 minutes of my day where I've had free time, but it's what keeps me moving. It keeps me motivated. Another one guys could be honestly just having your favorite meal. See, the thing is without rewarding us, our ADHD fails to see that progress, like I said before, and it fails to see the point of doing it, hence causing us to give up and eventually stop. Vision boards. This is what's going to keep you on path to achieving your goals. See, with ADHD, we suffer with our short-term memory. Like I spoke about that time blindness. We often set goals with big hopes and dreams to then forget about them a week later. By having our goals laid out on this vision board, clear as day for anybody to see, including us, it's going to help, one, keep you motivated, and two, to remind you of what you want to achieve and why you want to achieve it. Now, on your vision board, I wouldn't make it all too materialistic items. Obviously, everyone wants the nice car, the nice house, you know, nice clothes, nice shoes, whatever. But try to make the vision more of what you want your life to look like. Playing sports, you know, enjoying my free time, working hard, family. These are things that are purposeful to me. This is going to be different for everybody, guys, okay? Okay, so, but try to keep it more based around the less materialistic items, how you envision yourself living your life. Apart from that, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to watch another video by me, click the video here.